Well, the Cavs are celebrating the 30th anniversary of the downtown arena. In 1994, it opened as the Gund Arena. When Dan Gilbert took ownership, it became the Quicken Loans Arena, and now it's known as the Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse. The arena, a huge part of the transformation of downtown Cleveland, has seen some incredible moments. <laughs> 30 years ago today, fans had a chance to grab a sneak peek, an open house, if you will, at Gundarina. Remember those blue seats? And then 30 years ago, tomorrow, the lid lifter for the downtown arena, a Billy Joel concert. We're gonna get the real thing. Everybody's all excited about it. 30 years of playing the hits, but the arena, along with the ballpark, first and foremost, changed the face of our city. Nick Barlidge is the CEO of the Cavs. You know, and to really revitalize the Gateway District, which is really at the end of the day, the front door to our city, um, we, we're, you know, we're very fortunate to be where we are. It really is stunning to think back to what the Fieldhouse has seen. James Thompson running and finishing. The Cavaliers played in five NBA finals in this building over those years, and the arena hosted two NBA All-Star games. The first is the NBA celebrated their 50th anniversary in 1997. They had such a good time, they brought the All-Star game back in 2022 to celebrate their 75th anniversary. You look at over 30 years, we've averaged somewhere between 1.5 and 2 million fans a year that have come through that building. And so we are right on the precipice of celebrating 50 million fans coming through wow. Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse over the last 30 years. And the building has seen so much more than the Cavs and other sporting events. The Republican National Convention rolled into town in 2016 to rave reviews. The arena has had some work done, including the latest facelift in 2019 that completely transformed the look of the field house. But 30 years later, she's never looked better. And we've just had an, a great run of really iconic sporting and entertainment events to really bring Cleveland to the world at the end of the day in a very unique way. The actual 30th anniversary is tomorrow. Opening night was Billy Joel at the arena. There is a surprise coming tomorrow. The Cavs tell us to commemorate the date. Stand by for that.